As of January 2022, there are 12 active UN peacekeeping missions in operation around the world, deploying more than 87,000 personnel, and there have been 71 missions since 1948. In 1988, UN peacekeeping forces were awarded the Nobel Peace Prize for their contribution to reducing tensions where an armistice has been negotiated but a peace treaty has yet to be established. The first peacekeeping mission was deployed in 1956 to Egypt for the Suez Crisis with the mandate to observe the ceasefire and ensure the withdrawal of forces. Peacekeepers had little authority to intervene and the guiding principles of future operations would emerge from this one namely impartiality, consent of the host state, and the non-use of force except in self-defense and in defense of the mandate. Since the Cold War, though, their mandates have evolved to include more robust and aggressive forms of peace enforcement, as well as more traditionally state prerogatives of peace building, such as rule of law operations and the promotion of human rights. It is not always clear what law is applicable to such situations, and this leads to confusion in determining which mission is mandated to perform which task and at what stage of conflict, namely whether they are there for peacekeeping, peacemaking, peacebuilding, or even a mix of all three. Peacekeeping operations find no mention in the Charter of the United Nations. However, most agree that the legal basis for consensual operations falls between Chapter 6 and Chapter 7, which is often referred to as Chapter 6 and a half. The Security Council has also used enforcement action under its Chapter 7 mandate to maintain or restore international peace and security. These operations do not require the consent of the host state and the peacekeepers may take sides in a conflict and use offensive force. The laws otherwise applicable to peacekeepers are determined by the Status of Forces or Status of Missions Agreements. Status of Forces Agreements are signed by the UN and the host state and it defines the legal status of both the operation and the individual peacekeeper's conduct while on their mission. A key issue that arises under these agreements is that of accountability. And while peacekeepers have done much praiseworthy work in missions, there have also been many allegations of a complicity in human rights abuses, the commission of criminal conduct, and in particular, allegations of sexual abuse against civilians in their host state. 